Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Brianna Wilson. I go to Homestead Senior High, and the competition I will be competing in is Focus on Children Level 3. My topic is Learning Centers and Their Roles in the Development of Children. Before we get into it, here's a look at my FCCLA planning process. Before we get into my project, I would like to answer a couple of questions. Question number one. What is one skill that you learn or improve upon during your project that you will use in school next year or in your future career? <clears throat> one skill I learned while working on my project was how to, how to ask open-ended questions. I knew this was something that was very important because I know it encourages conversation with children and allows you to get to know them. I do plan on becoming an educator in the future and I knew this was a key skill I had to acquire. Question number two. <clears throat> What obstacles cause challenges in your work and how did you address them? Some obstacles that caused challenges in my work was balancing my workload. I knew I wanted to devote my time to this project and I also have a lot of extracurricular activities. So learning how to time manage wisely came into play. It was a hassle managing both, but I managed to get it done. I set aside time for different activity, activities so I wouldn't overwork on one more than the other. Identifying concerns. I knew when we opened Little Broncos, I knew we needed toys and materials. I knew I wanted the learning centers to be very effective when the children do come. Addressing a specific need. According to Jen Piaget, children learn through play. This means we need toys and materials that promote learning experience and development. Childcare facilities must have available toys, equipment, and furniture that caters to each child. When I'm at school, I feel at home. And I knew when, I, when the children came to Little Broncos, I knew I wanted them to feel at home as well. Setting a goal. To set my goal, to reach my goal, I decided I wanted to collect toys. I knew that was the only way to get the Little Broncos area up and running. I also wanted to ensure that the centers have all the necessary materials to, for an effective learning area. Applies child development concepts. As I learned in my early childhood education class, there are five areas of, of development. Physical, cognitive, social and emotional, approaches to learning, and language and communication. Learning centers, a concept used by Lev Vygotsky and John Dewey. They are designed to enhance concepts, skills, themes, and topics. Most teachers say there are three different types of learning centers. Enrichment centers, interest centers, and exploratory centers. <clears throat> Forming a plan. I know I had to identify the materials I needed and I know I had to I knew I had to identify the toys and materials that promoted the five areas of development. I wanted the entire school to know about the Little Broncos project, so I decided to make a video announcing what the project was about and what we needed for the project. To the students that did donate, I wanted to offer them community service. So they, they were offered two community out two hours of community service. I also made flyers to promote the goal for this project. I set up a box in the early childhood classroom and the main office so when the children start bringing the toys, they can drop them off in the box and I pick them up. Where did this take place? The Little Broncos facility, room 809. And this started January 2nd, 2023. Taking action. Like I said in my previous slide, I made the video because I wanted everyone to be a part of this project. I also passed out flyers. I hung up flyers as well. I collected the items. I recorded my observations. This basically means I stepped outside a few times just to watch how the children interacted with the toys, see if they liked them, were they manageable. I also did weekly toy checks, making sure all the toys are safe and intact. Applies child development concepts. The learning centers have multiple advantages according to research. Children learn with hands-on activities in the area of their choice or to develop a specific need or disadvantage. Classroom management is way easier. Children explore and experiment. Childcare providers can support children by providing them resources as they learn by themselves. One good thing about effective learning system, it allows a child to be independent. What Nacy says about child development. Process art can be a powerful thinking tool, engaging with artistic materials in playful ways without worrying about an end product. Can help share children's thinking. When educators are curious about the product and the process, they can support their children's ability to reflect and make meaningful connections. Open-ended questions, while they are playing in the learning centers, promotes child growth development. 
adapt questions for children so that they are very in complexity about the concepts they're thinking about and then the language involved and include both open-ended questions. What can you add to make your structure more stable? Impacting children and community positivity. This project allows children to develop through the learning centers. These learning centers provide all the necessary equipment that will promote the five areas of the development. Children can explore the different learning centers while, they de while developing cognitive skills and having hands-on activities. Little Broncos is a, ch a child care facility that is open to the community and it is low at cost. It also provides the community a safe and nurturing environment for children. Importance of learning centers based on learning styles. There are four main types of learning styles. Number one, visual, which means learning through seeing, auditory, which means learning through hearing, tactile, which means learning through touch, and kinesthetic, which means learning through physical activities. Children can understand the world around them through these learning styles. You will see children using these four learning styles in the different learning areas. And you can also adjust your lessons and learning centers to cater to the needs of every child so they're more engaged and they feel more included. Follow up and check in. My goal was met as I, conceiving, as I continue receiving items for the preschool lab. I also wanted to keep announcing that we are accepting toys, so. I also checking on how the children are interacting with toys by making observations. Like I said, I will step outside sometimes to see how the children are playing with the toys. Do they like them? Do they not like them? And lastly, I would like to thank my teachers and school administration for being a part of me, for being a part of this project and supporting me through the way. My references are NACI and working with young children in the online edition. Thank you. My name is Brianna Wilson and I am from Homestead Senior High School.